Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for watching the show here. I am Polly Popo, and I'm glad to be here today. What we're going to talk about is what we are doing. What are we doing? <laughs> the whole point of this is... What, I, what I'm getting at is that whenever <laughs> we get into a new piece of gear, like the NPC, right? Like, I, I'm big on the NPC. You know I love my NPC, but... And I do have a lot of other external gear, so I'm kind of both ways on this. But I wanted to share this with you because it's it's a big thing. It's like when you're buying expansion packs, when you're buying external gear, when you're buying synthesizers in general, hardware, software, doesn't matter. You really want to do your homework on a lot of the stuff. And a lot of the reviews are good and everything like that. But a hands-on experience or a one-on-one -on -one, uh, is definitely recommended before you get into any gear. You definitely want to ask somebody and talk to somebody, which is crazy that it's uh, so hard to do with Akai. Um, but I am offering, um, like if you're a beginner and you, and you need help with your MPC and it's, it's a little intimidating, you can hit me up. I'll leave my email address in the bottom. And I've had some classes on there. And if any of you have had taken the class or if you've had a one-on-one -on -one with me, if you leave a thumbs up, show that it does give you some kind of benefit, then, yeah, definitely uh, give it a shot, you know. It's one thing to watch videos all day long, which are great. And the videos are dope, all of them. All, every single NPC video that I've seen out there from every... They're all dope, and it takes a lot to put together. But if you're looking for something fast... I need a direct answer, and I don't want to scroll through and look all day long for an answer, and I just want to call Polly and I want to ask him, yo, dude, this isn't working. What What is going on? And I'll give you my best answer. It's, you know, and uh, I've been using it for a couple of years now, so I'm pretty fluent with it, and uh, I love it to death. But what are we doing about the expansion packs, okay? It's like there's so many sites. There's so many ways to make your own expansion, and it's like, Let's say you want to buy, uh, you, you want to play a guitar. You want to learn how to play guitar. So you go up into, into Guitar Center or wherever it is that you go, and you got all the money that you need. So you got, and the money's not an option. So you go into the Guitar Center and you're like, hey, I tell you what, I want all the guitars. Hey. And the dude says, what do you mean? It's like, I want all the guitars. I don't care if it's electric guitar. Uh, bass guitar, mandolin guitar, quattro, banjo, give me all your guitars because I want to learn how to play guitar. What's going to happen, <laughs> and this makes sense in a minute, like buying all the sample packs, you know what I'm saying? There's tons of them out, there's tons of guitars. You buy them all. By the time you walk into your studio and you're surrounded by all this stuff, uh, you're, you're not going to be as productive as if you were to take half of that away. Like meaning I play on a broken guitar this way whenever i get a hold of something uh better which anything is better than my guitar any guitar is better than my guitar. it's broke but i still get a note out of it and i still know what i'm doing with it but when i get a hold of a good guitar it comes out so it's anything else is extra so just to practice what you have in the box now i'm not lying when i say i've made over 80 songs on the mpc with just the stock sounds, just tweaking them and doing that. Yeah, I buy external gear and everything, but I've blown a lot of money getting there. You know, I've blown money, dude. Half the stuff isn't even in my studio because it didn't do what I want. I'm finally to a point now to where I can make my own sounds and I know the gear that I want and need to do what I need to do. The MPCX, man, this whole modular rig behind me, only because it's analog and blah, 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 and it's got its own oscillators and different filters from different companies and whatever. This has the tube synth, the hype, uh, not the hype synth, sorry, but it's got baseline electric in standalone mode. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but whenever you hit your plugins and you hit project edit, the, the thing pops up and it's your GUI and it looks just like this thing right here. And then whenever you hit the tabs it brings you over you have this whole thing inside of that's like thousands of dollars man that's a gift it's a gift and you have three of them I mean if you were to lay out everything that's inside of here all the effects all the 
per all, everything. I, I would need a bigger studio. It would take up this whole wall. You would not be able to see how much stuff is inside of this one box. And yeah, I, I praise the NPC. They don't pay me to say anything like that. I've just been through the struggle. I've used a ton of crap gear before, man, and this definitely gets it done. As far as the MPC-2, uh, the one with the speaker, let me tell you what, man, I don't care what anybody says. If I was just starting out making beats, and I lived in a one-bedroom apartment, and I was like, I need, that's all you, my point is, you can put yourself in any scenario, my point is, that's all you would need to make beats. That's all you would need to to take that vision, to take that dream of, man, I just want to make one damn song that connects with everybody, you know? I want to, you know, put my music out. I want to get paid. I want to make background music. I want to do this. I want to do vocals. I want to do field recording. You can do anything you want. And you can do it all with just that one box. So anything else is extra, but use your Use the MPC first. Use your MPC first. It's got CVs and all that stuff out. That's all extra. Learn the basics that are inside of that box first, okay? Because with what's in here, you can do anything. Um, like I said, I've come from using a lot of crap gear. I've been through the struggle. This isn't like my first, my first freaking rodeo, okay? You know, I've I've drained my accounts. I've maxed out credit cards paid them off, I've done all, all that, and I'm swearing to you, you're not going to be disappointed with something like this, especially the way that if they keep updating it. And that MPC-2, I mean, um, almost tempted to buy one because I had an MPC Live, of course, before I had the, the MPC-X, and, uh, you know, it, it was great, it was great, I, I used it a lot. And but I had to have the bigger MPCX because I wanted the Q links and put it in my studio because I wasn't really out in the field much. But to finish half of the projects that I got, I'd love to be upstairs on my couch and be able to listen to what it sounds like coming out of actual speakers. I don't know how long the speakers are gonna last or whatever, but it's it's just a, it's just a dope thing that they did. I don't care if they're trying to get more money to. Uh, come out with a full DAW MPC or like an MPCX with a laptop built into it. This way you can upgrade it or a desktop version. I don't care. That it, it, they're all really, really nice and they all serve their own purpose. Um, I've had the Renaissance. I had the MPC 5000, the, the XL, and um, as soon as you start adding effects to them, then it starts to get a little bit laggy. I say I, it gets glitched out. Um, or maxed out. I haven't been able to max out the MPCX in standalone. I ran a hundred tracks with triplets and, and all kinds of stuff going like that. I full blast and it wasn't even phasing it. So in standalone mode it's dedicated. It's a workhorse. And of course you guys know that. Enough about the MPC and me raving about how cool it is and everything like that. But as far as the plugins and expansion packs go, there's so many out there. Just grab a few. Grab like, when I say a few, I mean like 20. Because <laughs> you can end up buying a whole bunch, all right? I mean, buy like 10 to 20 expansion packs and then stop. You know, use them. There's so much stuff inside of those packs. Or make your own packs, you know. And then people talk about sampling. And like, oh, geez, only sample off a of record. I got records. And it's like saying oh, you can't make a, a record off of a splice. Off, of, you know, I don't use splice. You know, whatever with splice. I like to make my own melody in my MPC, and then I'll stretch it out. I make a, eight, a 64 bar loop, and you can add vocals over to 64 bar or whatever. But I'll wipe out the drums and I'll resample that. And anybody that resamples anything knows that that's where the magic happens. What you're listening to when you make your song is not what it's going to be the final product after you sample it and chop it up and everything like that but yeah there's tons of different hidden features and little workarounds and all kinds of things that you can do on the MPC. and yes there are tons of videos out there that can get you started but if you need the one-on-one -on -one, uh, feel free to look me up on Facebook um, it's the same as my YouTube it's just Polly Popo and uh, 
yeah, we'll hook up, man. And, uh, you know, 30 minutes to an hour doesn't matter. It's whatever. But I understand how it is to to buy a piece of gear and then be overwhelmed with it. And last thing you want to do, because it's damn near like you have to have a technical background in order to use it. You know what I'm saying? It just takes away from, I just wanted to make beats. I just I just wanted to make beats. Now I'm a freaking NPC, uh, Akai, uh, technical support freaking teacher. Uh, which is dope because I love doing what I do. I like to go over the Moog and um, a bunch of other gear. You know, this uh, Signature 22 Soundcraft mixer is my baby. I love it. I go out of uh, the MPC software into all 22 channels. That's right, all 20, all 22. They all come out. Not just one and two, all 22 come out. So, and then you can just send it right back into the MPCX. I like to do that. I like to take stuff and replug it in the way it ain't supposed to and figure out how to make it work, go through different boxes and stuff. That's why I got into modular. And these are all the tools that I need right now. And uh, they do have a, uh, you'll always do research on gear. You'll, you'll always research on gear. If not, you're, you'll lose it, you'll die. So that's like if you were to still use the 1.9 update or the 2. Point whatever update, you wouldn't have plugins or anything. Be missing out. So you always have to update and keep on on top of your uh, your music stuff. So there is a product from Pittsburgh Modular that it is the network analog delay circuit, and I want it, and I will get it. But I've been working on the Camaro a little bit and. Uh, that's also going to be coming up on the channel too. I'm gonna, I got a 2020 um, four banger actually. It's got a turbo in it, which I had a 2011 forever. The only reason I got a new one is because this one had over 300,000 miles on it and it drove me back and forth all highway. So um, my goal for this one is to see if I can push 400 horsepower out of it and uh, see if, uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to straight pipe it uh, next week and just some other random stuff that I'm going to put on the channel. But other than that, guys, I'm Polly Popo, and I really appreciate you for watching. And this little little jam that I made on the MPC the other day, and I'm going to fade out with it. And I'll see you guys next time. I kind of like that. Thank you for watching the Polly Popo Show.